Good afternoon and welcome family and friends to the Morton Senior High Fall 2020 Induction Ceremony. Tonight, our candidates will become official NHS members. I will now turn the remainder of the ceremony over to our MC, Yasmeen Booker. Hello. My name is Yasmin Booker. Oliver P. Morton Senior High School started a chapter of the National Honor Society on January 8th, 1960. To date, we have inducted over 800 members. We will now start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please follow along with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Our chapter's mission is to create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote leadership, and to develop character in the students of Morton Senior High School. The GPA requirements for National Honor Society is a minimum GPA of a 3.0. Our chapter's accomplishments include tutoring tables, governor's shelters, partnership with Harding Elementary, and most recently, the Hammond Veterans Day Parade. National Honor Society is a national organization to recognize individual student academic achievement. The national chapter was founded in 1921 by Principal Edward S. Reinerson. It grew into roughly 1,000 chapters by 1930. Over 1 million students participate in NHS or NJS. A few NHS honorable members include Meryl Streep, John Stewart, Fred Rogers, Michelle Obama, Tina Fey, Debbie Turner, Cindy Crawford, and Jerome Bates. The 2020 NHS officers are Brianna Edwards, President, Valeria Ruiz, Vice President, Yasmin Booker, Treasurer, and Asira Polar, Secretary. Brianna has received recognition as an admirable honor student, along with receiving praise from multiple peers and faculty for her pursuit of excellence. Brianna is a junior set to graduate early at the end of her junior year with the class of 2021, receiving an academic honors diploma. And this is of no small accomplishment. Brianna is, strong, is a strong head learner and plans to further her education and excellence. Valeria has absolutely enjoyed her service experience. She has had the chance to assist elementary students during this pandemic and appreciated the fact that she was also helping her community. After high school, she will attend Purdue University Northwest. Her professional goal is to become a teacher in special education. Nasira's hobby is reading. Her favorite books are the Goosebumps series. She reads almost every one of them. After high school, she will attend Iowa State University for pediatric nursing. Yasmin plans to attend the Indiana University Kelly School of Business and is interested in a career in corporate law. In her free time, she enjoys baking and photography. She loves to volunteer and take pictures. The four pillars of the National Honor Society are scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Reading the pillar for scholarship is Brianna Edwards. 
Scholarship is a commitment to learning and growing on both the personal and educational path that stems from a desire to contribute to the world in a positive way. Reading the, scholarship, reading the pillar for service is Joyce Feverance. My office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Reading the pillar for leadership is Valeria Ruiz. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school in taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities. The real leaders strive to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price, the price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to use one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substant charge to each of our members. My favorite quote of leadership is, leaders become great, not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others by John Maxwell. Reading the pillar for character is Abriel Norwood. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to retain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right decision. This, the problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality where we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating qualities such as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Our keynote speaker for tonight is Ms. Lisette Acosta. A native New Yorker and a former Cats Catskill Valley resident who moved to the Midwest in the late 90s to pursue a, career, pursue a career in addiction counseling and community mental health. Lisette has worked as a professional school counselor in alternative and public education in both Illinois and Indiana for nearly two decades. Her education includes a Bachelor of Arts and political science and sociology from Syracuse University, a master's of education in instructional leadership and educational policy from the University of Illinois, Chicago, and a master's of art in school counseling from Concordia University. And she also was a 1992 inductee of the National Honor Society. Good evening, everyone. And thank you for the kind introduction. The purpose of the National Honor Society is to create enthusiasm for scholarship, promote character development, cultivate leadership, and encourage a desire to render service. These four pillars, scholarship, character, leadership, and service are closely interrelated and build upon one another. They are at the core of a fulfilled and a fulfilling life. I liken them to the four wheels of a car. All four must be functioning properly in order for the car to go anywhere. Today you are being honored for your achievement in these areas. I feel so privileged to be here to celebrate that success with you and to help welcome you into the National Honor Society. When I sat in your exact position over 20 years ago, 
I didn't recognize what a tremendous accomplishment it was to be a member of the National Honor Society. I thought I was simply building my own experiences and authoring my own story, just like my classmates. I didn't realize how closely others were paying attention to my choices, nor did I fully appreciate the extent to which those choices would later impact my future. I would soon discover that my choices would open doors and create a clearing for me to be the best version of myself. While we have little to no control over the circumstances that life puts before us, we do, however, have control over the choices we make. It is because you chose to work hard and manage your time effectively. It is because you chose to build meaningful relationships and actively apply yourself that you are being inducted into the National Honor Society this evening. As many of you know, I am a Wonder Woman enthusiast. Early on in my career, I learned how much like Wonder Woman, I possess certain superpowers. My superpowers involve facing menacing challenges head on, courageously striking them down, and rallying others around to find more inspired courses of action. My superpower is that I am an agent of change. I was only able to realize my superpower after many years of trial and error and self-reflection. So I implore you, don't spend time trying to be perfect or striving to get it right every time. Instead, spend that time living your life thoughtfully and discovering and refining your superpowers. Each of us was born into the world lacking the ability by ourselves to navigate life successfully. While counseling in an alternative high school in Chicago, one of my students said it best. He said, your network is your net worth, meaning you can reach higher levels of success when collaborating with others than you would if you tried to approach life on your own. We all need the nurturing of others to help form within us the character we need to make wise and informed decisions. I challenge you not to rest solely on your laurels or previous successes alone, but to strive to develop in the individuals of great character who desire to serve others as leaders always seeking to gain valuable knowledge to make changes to better the society and world around you. As you walk in the spirit of scholarship, leadership, character, and service, be inspired to make choices with purpose, find your superpowers, and build life-lasting relationships. Thank you again for this opportunity. I wish you all continued success. The 11th grade inductees are Brianna Edwards, Leslie Centero Rodriguez, Elizabeth Cypress Contreras, Maya Driver, Joyce Feverance, Alexia Miller, Avril Norwood, Nasira Pollard, and Valeria Ruiz. The 12th grade inductees are Alex Bryant and Ariana Torres. We will now say the National Honor Society Pledge. Please stand, place your right hand over your heart and read the pledge with me. I pledge myself always to seek the light of truth, to hold scholarly habits, to engage in worthy service and to lead forward in all things that shall, that shall advance the welfare of the school. Thank you. Congratulations to all inductees. 
Please welcome the school president or the school principal, Mr. Gregory Easton. Greetings guests, Mrs. Johnson, National Honor Society members, and our new inductees. I am Greg Easton and I'm your principal and I am very proud that Morton High School's chapter of the National Honor Society under the leadership of Mrs. Santina Johnson continues to pursue and exemplify the important National Honor Society qualities of respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, as well as the additional National Honor Society core values of integrity, involvement, and achievement. In 2020, more than ever before, your school, community, and nation needs you to continue to grow, to lead, and to become the best possible versions of yourselves. And that's exactly what you're doing. As I continue to observe and engage with my final class of Morton Governors, I can confidently say that our future is in good hands and go Govs. Congratulations to our new National Honor Society members. Special thanks to Mr. Easton, Ms. Acosta, our presenter and NHS member, Yasmin Booker, and the family and friends of our National Honor Society members. Good night. <laughs>